called liquid gold for a reason. Breast milk has health benefits that go far beyond vitamins and minerals. Antibodies in the milk fight infection and boost a baby's immunity. And studies show milk from vaccinated moms even contains coronavirus antibodies. It's why some parents and hospitals are willing to pay top dollar to buy human milk from dispensaries. Consumer investigator Kristen Byrne looks at the business side of breast milk and how it's keeping babies healthy. If you go to a local milk bank in Wisconsin, each ounce of breast milk will cost you $4.50. So one bottle, four ounces, is about $20. Do the math. If a baby drinks six bottles a day, that's 120 bucks. That price may give you sticker shock, but oftentimes parents who buy it don't need a lot because from what I'm told, a little goes a long way. My first son, I was doing about 71 ounces a day. And with my second child, I was doing about 85 ounces a day. Maxine Young found out early on after she gave birth, she was what's called an overproducer. She pumped enough breast milk for her babies and had a lot more left over, evident by these bags and coolers filled with frozen milk. What am I going to do with all this milk? I'm not going to pour it down the drain or I'd like to not do that. That's where the authentic birth center in Wauwatosa comes in. In total, Maxine donated 12,039 ounces of her breast milk to the center's dispensary. This is Molly Peterson with the birth center. This is something to bridge a gap. She says 80% of donated breast milk goes to the hospitals, which pay for the milk, specifically for NICU babies. The other 20% caregivers can buy, like adoptive parents or mothers who can't nurse for medical or personal reasons. But we need to get that baby just a little bit more intake. In general, Molly says the breast milk is more of a short-term supplement. One bottle of four ounces in the beginning time when their bellies, babies' bellies as newborns are the sizes of marbles, is going to go a very, very long way. So that whole bottle, that four ounce bottle is going to last a day, if not more. Susan Urbanski with nonprofit Mother's Milk Bank of the Western Great Lakes explains why human milk purchased at milk banks like this one comes with a high price tag. The money pays for the blood draw on donor moms, vaccine included. Plus, it covers the pasteurization of the breast milk and all the screening for harmful chemicals, drugs, viruses, even cow's milk. Research have found that it's been altered with cow's milk or altered with yogurt. Um, so it's, it's really, it's quite scary because when you're getting paid by the ounce, there's this motivation to make it heavier, make it way more. For some, selling their milk online can be a lucrative business. On eBay, prices are all over the place. We spotted one post selling breast milk filled bags for 200 bucks at a dollar an ounce. If you look at the American Academy of Pediatrics and the World Health Organization, they've, they've all spoken out against buying milk online. For us, we have to make sure that every single bottle of milk is completely safe for the most fragile infant. The authentic birth center saw milk donations spike at the start of COVID when more moms worked from home. Now donations have leveled off and milk banks are asking nursing women, if they can, to give. Why do you do it? Because you don't get money for donating. <laughs> It was a practical decision that had the best outcome and did the best that, I don't want to say best for the world, but I mean, best for my community. We're all mothers. We just want the best for our children and want all babies to grow and thrive. Here in Wisconsin, health insurance companies don't have to cover the cost of donor breast milk. Advocates are hoping that changes, but there are charity care programs that help pay for it. You'll find links in this story online with those details. I'm consumer investigator. Kristen Byrne.